Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, hello, hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Good, good. Nice, excellent. Ha temblado, ha llovido, pero acá estamos. So that's the important thing. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you actually had a nice day today. I know that we might be tired, that we Ni might... Agua, dimos okay. No le dieron agua a aquellos y... Y pues así, el día, ¿no? <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. So, welcome to today's class. Really nice to have you here. As always, right? So, well, be more than welcome, people. So, let's see, let's see. Let's get down to business. Let's start by, first of all, taking a, the attendance today. So let me see. Let me just pull up here the document with all your information. By the way, a congratulations on, well, your homework a assignments and also with the tests. A, I guess you did really good. Y felicidades, de hecho, y, um, por los resultados del examen, um, igual con las tareas, creo que todos, casi todo el 99.9%, eh, creo que lo, lo, lo subió sus tareas y por ahí estaba revisando los resultados y vamos bastante bien, ¿no? Y bastante bien la, 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 la nota del examen en general. Así que, que bueno, so I'm, I'm happy that you're actually getting the idea here and that, well, you are getting good results in the evaluations. So congratulations on that. All righty then. So we oh, see. Let's start with attendance. So here we go. Number one, Ana Beatriz Pineda. Anita, creo que no está por acá. So we have Ángel Valmore Aguilar. Angel, tampoco está por acá. So we have then Brenda Raquel Reyes. Tampoco está acá. All right. Then we have Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda tampoco está conectada. All right. So we have then Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Iris, Iris tampoco está conectada. Okay. Then we have, let me see, y Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Tampoco está conectada. No, mentira, ahí está. Josué. Hello, hello. Um, hmm. Hello, can you hear me? Micrófono, teacher. Micrófono. Perdón, perdón. Solo se conectó y se conectó en mute. <risa> Les decía, ahí está Josué entonces. Nice. Iba ahí peleando con los motoristas. <risa> nice. Present teacher. Nice, Josué. Thank you. <risa> Good. So let's see. Then we have next person. Y Carla María Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla María. Y next person, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Carla Yesenia Lanza, Carlita Lanza, por ahí la vi conectada, así ahí está. Pero... All right, thank you very much, Carlita. Good. So let's see next person, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Oh. 
Jesus, wait, 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 wait. Está bien mala la señal. I know, yeah, creo que voy a cambiar de conexión porque <coughs> mi conexión ahorita está terrible. Wait. Quiero ver. Ahí voy. Bueno, vamos a ver si mejora un poco. Yes, ok. Bueno, ahí estamos. Carlita Lance. Nice. Thank you very much. So let's see. First person I have is Luz Carly Juarez. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Natalie, nice. So we continue with Marilyn del Carmen Solis. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Uh, next person, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Uh, present teacher. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Uh, next person, Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Uber. Y next, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Okay, she's not here, so we continue with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present. Thank you very much, Vilma. Y next person, I have Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Next, I have <clears throat> Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Not here, I guess. So I continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Meli. And last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, uh, Julie. Okay, then. So... Let's see, let's see. Let's start with today's class. Uh, teacher, I'm here. Teacher, I'm here. Who is here? Brenda. All right, Brenda. Raquel, Raquel. Reina. Nice. Thank you very much. So let okay. me see. Ahorita le ponemos ahí asistencia. Nice. ¿Quién más se nos ha unido? No, we're cool. All right, then. So before we actually start with today's class, let's have a little a review on what we studied yesterday. Yesterday we were reviewing something about present continuous for future. So we were saying that we use the present continuous for future whenever we are uh, talking about scheduled events or whenever we are talking about what we know as the near future. So can you give me an example? Let me see. Hmm, Julie. Hola, me decía, teacher. Yes, can you give me an example using the present continuous for future? La verdad que ayer yo estaba bien mal de salud y mm. realmente estaba conectada, pero yo estaba bien mal, no, no realmente. In English, no in English. <laughs> That's okay. Pero si es de la clase, si es de la clase de ayer estoy. No, mal. perdida, perdida. Va. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. So let's see. A ver, seleccione a alguien, Julie, que le ayude. El comodín de la llamada ahorita. Carla María. Va. <laughs> Carla María, let's see. Uh, it's about uh, example. You want yes. example? An example, please. Uh, uh, I have a meeting tomorrow. With I have a meeting. Uh -huh. I have a meeting tomorrow. I have a meeting tomorrow. Mm. No, I meeting. I meeting, Sharia. I meeting. I am. I am meeting. Not the I have. Ah, a ver. So I'm I am meeting. meeting <laughs> <laughs> I'm meeting who? Tomorrow? Mm. I am meeting Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Si yo digo, I'm meeting, es como yo me voy a encontrar con alguien. Uh -huh. ¿Con quién me voy a encontrar? 
with uh, the principal? Uh, a meeting in the school, let's say the school principal tomorrow. So this could be a meeting the school principal tomorrow. Ahora sí. So uh, what do I need to remember? The structure of the present continuous, right? In which we have verb to be plus a verb in the ing. And if we want it, or if we want to talk about the future or the near future, then we say that we need a time expression. So this is what we need to use the present continuous for near future or scheduled events. Acuérdense que. Si, bueno, la estructura del presente continuo es esta que vemos acá. Verbo ser o estar, el verb to be, más el verbo ing. So, eso, out of the question, ¿verdad? eso sí tiene que ir. Si yo le quiero dar el toque para que suene a futuro, para que la idea eh, quede a futuro, entonces le pongo una expresión de tiempo. Como en este caso, como decía Carla María, tomorrow. Right, tomorrow is what is doing the trick. Si yo le quito aquí el tomorrow, me quedaría, I'm meeting the school principal. Ah, ahorita entonces, no. So this is happening right now. No, I want to say that this is happening uh, tomorrow. So that is future, yeah. So very good. Carla Maria, select another person. Okay, let me see. Um, let's see. Uh, Marilyn. Marilyn, let's see. Marilyn, Marilyn. Hi. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> All right, so Marilyn, can you give me another example? Uh, maybe about something you have to do tomorrow. Mm, I am. Um... Watching TV um, tomorrow. I'm watching TV tomorrow. Okay, this could work, right? I'm watching TV tomorrow. So maybe. Puedo cambiar? Sí, la puede cambiar, no hay problema. Okay. Yo se la I am, <laughs> I am watching TV at 9 p.m. Ah. On Friday. At 9 p.m. Uh -huh. on, on, on Saturday. Friday. Ah, on Saturday. Ya le iba a regañar porque a esa hora estamos en clase. <ríe> <ríe> a eso se lo voy <ríe> a decirle iba. Por eso no cambié. Te <ríe> <ríe> iba a reprender, Alic. Sí, cabal, ya, a decirle iba. A ver cómo es. <ríe> Nice. I'm watching TV at 9 p.m. On Saturday, there you go. Very good. So, a uh, schedule event, right? Algo que ya tengo en mi agenda. A las nueve el sábado, yo voy a ver televisión, ¿verdad? Voy a ver Sábado Gigante. No, mentira, ya no es Sábado Gigante. Anyway, so there you go. Now, let's see. Marilyn, select another person. Um, quiero ver... Iris? Let's see. Ay, no. <laughs> Pero no. Adivino, adivino. <laughs> nice. Ah, va el primer sorbo de café, iba yo. No, hombre. Ay, no. Le robó Pero... la... <laughs> es que desde el celular no, no me veo bien. <laughs> Ay, bueno, no. con el sabor a café el, el, el ejemplo. Vamos a ver. So, Iris. What are you doing on the weekend? On Sunday? Mm -hmm. What are you doing on Sunday? Ahorita le digo. A ver, a ver. Ahorita vemos. <laughs> <laughs> um, bueno, no sé, sería uh, I drank, I drink ah. coffee every night. Ah. 
de oh, com yo tomo café todas las noches. <risa> <risa> Me asustó cuando dijo, I'm drinking, híjole, dije yo, café, café, ok. I'm drinking coffee. Va, si yo quiero uh -huh. decir, yo tomo café todas las noches, no sería el presente continuo, ni tampoco a futuro, sino I drink coffee y every night. Yo tomo café todas las noches y no se me quita el sueño. There you go. Now, si yo quiero hablar de lo que va, algo que usted va a hacer el domingo, la pregunta es, what are you doing on Sunday? ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer el domingo? ¿Cómo me respondería? ¿Cómo sería el ejemplo? Mm, siempre con el ejemplo del café. Mm. Oh. Una acción que usted vaya a hacer, que usted sepa que va a ser el domingo, que esté en sus planes para el domingo. Mm, digamos, ir a la iglesia y ah. go to the crunch. Present continuous for future. Mire la estructura acá. Esta es la estructura del present continuous para futuro. Verbos, más verbo y el Sería como yo iré a la iglesia. Ajá. Esa es la idea. Uh -huh. eh, la conjugación del verbo ese de ING es que no. Aquí están los ejemplos. Uh -huh. Si es go, ¿cómo me queda con el ING? Going. I am going. Ah, there you go. I'm going mm. to, to uh, the crunch. Ah, crunch? No. Church. <laughs> church. A church. A crunch and chocolate. <laughs> church. <laughs> es la idea. Nice. There you go. I'm going to church. Y ahora le agregamos el día. On? Um, uh, Sunday. Sunday. There you go. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Excellent. There you go, Iris. So, I'm going to church on Sunday. This is what we were saying, right? Y pretty much we are using the same structure of the present continuous. Y verb to be, verb in ing. And then all I need is the complement. Where am I going? To church. When? On Sunday. Right? Entonces ya con este on Sunday, que es mi expresión de tiempo, y ya estoy diciendo que esto no lo estoy haciendo en el momento, que es la idea principal del presente continuo. Y entonces acá ya le doy la idea de que es futuro. Hoy es jueves. Para el domingo todavía podemos decir que futuro cercano. Entonces no estamos, bueno, todavía lo podemos utilizar y no hay problema, ¿verdad? So nice. Let's see. Iris, seleccioname una persona más. Persona más, vamos a ver. Este, Anita. Anita. Let's see, Anita, Anita. Anita, Anita. No está Anita. Creo que no está. No, no está. No está. Bueno, Sonia. A ver, Evelyn, Sonia Evelyn. Let's see. Angel teacher. Okay, ready, Evelyn. Yes. Okay, so you tell me about a plan that you have for Saturday. What are you doing on Saturday? Okay, I'm going to to the shopping ah, on Saturday. So she's going shopping on Saturday. What time are you gonna go? Morning, afternoon, or at night? Uh, <laughs> in afternoon. In the afternoon, on Saturday afternoon. 
So there you go. She's going shopping on Saturday afternoon. Ella irá de compras ajá, el sábado en la tarde. Perfect. There you go, Evelyn. So okay. if you notice, thank you. We have been or I've been asking the question, what are you doing, right? The question that I'm asking is, what are you doing? Si yo la dejo así, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Ahorita. Pero si yo le quiero preguntar a alguien, por ejemplo, mira, este, ¿qué vas a hacer mañana? No, eh, tal vez la quiero invitar a algo o no sé, quiero, quiero preguntarle por X razón. What are you doing tomorrow? Right? Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? ¿Qué vas a hacer mañana? Right? What are you doing tomorrow? Y, y esta expresión de tiempo yo la puedo cambiar. En vez del mañana, puedo decirle, hey, what are you doing on Sunday? What are you doing on Sunday? There you go. So, lo único que hago es cambiar la expresión de tiempo. Adecuándola a el día que yo quiero, ¿no? Puede ser, hey, what are you doing next week? ¿Verdad? También podría ser, todavía la siguiente semana es, todavía aplica para el, el futuro cercano, ¿no? So, this is how we use it. No se me vayan a confundir. Sí. Va. La idea principal, recuerden, del presente continuo es y una acción que está sucediendo en el momento. Entonces, la, para cambiar esa idea y hablar del futuro, mantengo la misma estructura del presente continuo, pero lo único que hago es agregar una expresión de tiempo a futuro que puede ser mañana, puede ser el día en específico, puede ser la siguiente semana, next week, on Monday, on Tuesday, etcétera, etcétera. Siempre y cuando sea a futuro. Puede ser incluso tonight, ¿verdad? Eh, or tomorrow morning, etcétera, etcétera. So your call. Nice. So, today we're going to study, well, any questions so far? Preguntas hasta aquí antes de, de, de avanzar a otra cosa. ¿Se entiende la idea del, del present continuous a futuro? Sí, nice, ok, good. Julie, ya nos puede dar un ejemplo, a ver. Sí, vamos a ver. A ver. Excelente. Excelente. Eh, I cooking. I o am. I'm cooking. Uh -huh, very good. I'm cooking. The lunch. I'm cooking lunch. Uh -huh. Ahí no se le agrega, por decir, el, el almuerzo o el de. No, so, no. O sea, digamos, solo, va de un solo así. Nosotros en el español sí le agregamos el de. ¿verdad? Pero acá no. I'm cooking on, lunch. On Saturday. On Saturday. Ah, very good. So I'm cooking lunch on Saturday. We just estoy desarrollando. I'm cooking lunch on Saturday. There you go. Nice. So what are you going? What are you preparing on Saturday? What are you cooking? Mm, meat. Meat. Mm, nice. Roast beef. Carne asada. A la plancha, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> Grill. Okay, grilled beef. Okay, nice, very good. So, excellent, there you go, you see? Nice. This is how we use it. Uh, well, the present continues for future. Ahora sí, you got it. So, perfect. Okay, so lovely then. There you go. Uh, I guess we're ready then to move on. Today we're going to review something related to y todavía no soltamos eh, esto del present y continuous. So, let's see. Today we're going to study something about the present continuous and the simple present. So, 
Let me see. Da, 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 da. Here we go. I'm going to show you a, a video. We are not going to watch the entire video. So wait, just give me a second here. Hmm. Wait. All right. So anyway, so I'm going to show you this video. No vamos a ver todo, todo el video, porque es un poquito largo. Y, pero sí vamos a ver parte de este video en el que we're going to see the differences between the simple present and the present continuous. We're going to focus today on these two things. How different they are in like the different scenarios in which we can use present continuous or simple present here. So let me share my screen so that we can see this. Here we go. Okay, so let's pay attention to this video. Um, at some point, I'm just going to pause it so that we can uh, start talking a little bit about this. So here we go. Check the information and then we discuss a little bit about it. Present simple versus present continues. Present simple, clear words, always, usually, often, sometimes, never. Present continues, clear words, at the moment, at present, currently, nowadays, now. Present simple, present continues, forms, affirmative, play, plays, playing, am playing, is playing, are playing, negative, don't play, doesn't play, I'm not playing, isn't playing, aren't playing, interrogative, do I play, do you play, does he play, do we play, do you play, do they play. Am I playing? Are you playing? Is she playing? Are we playing? Are you playing? Are they playing? Present simple. Is used for repeated actions, habits, routines. Present continues. is used for something happening at the time of speaking. The action is not finished. He is a chef. He cooks delicious food. Now, he is cooking a new recipe. I am a builder. I build houses. At the moment, I'm building a new house. She works very hard most of the time. At the moment, she is chatting in the workplace. We use the present simple to describe a permanent situation. 
I'm a doctor. I treat people. We use the present continuous to describe a temporary situation. Currently, I'm not working. I'm ill. She is French. She lives in Paris. At present, she is living in London. She is learning English. They always go to school by car. This week, they are going to school on foot. We use the present simple to say that something is true or untrue in general. The Earth turns 360 degrees every day. We use the present continuous to talk about changes, developments, and trends. The Earth is changing due to global warming. Polar bears live in the North Pole. Climate change is affecting polar bears. The present simple is normally used to talk about thoughts, feelings, and states. I don't believe. Is that really true? The present continues is mainly used for actions and happenings. It's not usually used for states. Like, love, hate, want, be, prefer, no, suppose, mean. Believe, understand, seem. These verbs are not normally used in continuous progressive tenses. She doesn't seem very happy at the moment. It tastes good. Always. Always with the present simple means ever. Okay. I'm going to pause it here because I guess we got the idea. So today we're checking these differences between simple present present continuous. Mucha gente se confunde cuando hablamos de presente simple y presente continuo porque creen que el presente simple es para hablar de cosas que están pasando en el presente, ¿verdad? en el momento, y el presente continuo a saber qué es. ¿verdad? So, no es así. When do we use actually each of these tenses? Simple. The main use, like the main, main thing that we have that for what we are going to use the simple present is to talk about habits or routines. Esto es regla de oro, right? If I am talking about something that I do on a regular basis, every day, every month, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, something that is part of my life, if that is the simple present. Like, for example, when I say she usually works at home, usually works at home. So it's a routine, not every day, but happens on a regular basis. They always walk to school all the time. I never eat meat. This is something that never happens. So it's part of my life or my routine. So I express it with the simple present, not the present continuous. The present continuous. Same thing. Regla de oro para el presente continuo. We use it to talk about actions that are happening now at the moment, right now. For example, I'm paying attention to the teacher. Espero <laughs> I'm paying attention to the teacher. <laughs> nice, nice, good. So I'm talking to my classmate. Maybe not the case here, but it could be. So in this case, both actions are things that 
are happening at this moment. At least that's the idea. That's what I want to express. And that's why I use the present continuous. Now, there are some clues to identify if I need the present continuous or the simple present. Some keywords or some important words that we use with the simple present. Adverbs of frequency, often, always, never, usually, seldom, sometimes, eh, almost never, eh, et cetera, et cetera. Or some other expressions that can also eh, say how often we carry out an activity like every weekend, every day, every Sunday, every Monday. Um, actividades que, por ejemplo, hacemos un día, ¿no? Eh, un día a la semana, por ejemplo, ir a la iglesia. Dicen que hay que ir más días, pero digamos los que vamos. Vamos un día. <ríe> digamos que vamos el domingo. So we say, I go to church on Sundays, los domingos. So, eso, a pesar de que solo lo hago un día, solo el domingo, y es una rutina, ¿no? Porque lo hago los domingos. So, ese every Sunday me está diciendo entonces que tengo que ocupar simple present, right? Like in this case, I always go to school. I clean my room every Sunday or Saturday or Monday. So, simple present. There are some other words that they give me the clue that what I need is present continuous. Like, at the moment, now, right now, today, etc., etc. These expressions are telling me, hey, we need present continuous. It's not simple present, right? No puedo decir, por ejemplo, eh, I study English. Right now, I study English right now. Uh -uh. I am studying English right now. Present continuous. Ese right now me está diciendo que mmm, lo que necesito tal vez no es el presente simple, sino el presente continuo, porque estoy describiendo una acción que está pasando justo en este momento. So... Here we have another example. I'm studying English now. En vez de ese now, le puedo poner at the moment, le puedo poner right now, y etc., etc. Or even today. As with everything, as we were checking in on the video, we have a affirmative, negative, and question forms for both tenses. We already mentioned, or we already talked a little bit about this before, so I'm not going to stop that much here. Lo único que, bueno, el afirmativo, ya vimos cómo se forma. Y lo único aquí diferente es la forma negativa en la que mantengo la misma estructura, verb to be, verbo ing, pero agrego el not. Si es negativo, en medio del verb to be y el verbo en ing. Mm, teacher, y ahí le puedo poner don't o doesn't. Never, ever. ¿Verdad? Nunca, jamás. No way, Jose. No le puedo poner don't o doesn't acá porque ya estoy ocupando el verb to be. Y acuérdense que son agua y aceite. El verb to be y el auxiliar, cualquier otro auxiliar, no se mezclan. So... Ahí está, solo agregamos ese not. Si es pregunta, si es una pregunta de sí o no, solo le doy vuelta. Eh, empiezo con el verb to be en vez del de pronombre y ya lo hice pregunta prácticamente. En vez de decir, I am walking, am I walking? Ahora bien, antes de que, de que se lo pregunten, Tal vez yo no diría esto normalmente en mis cinco sentidos. Es como de, estoy caminando. No creo, ¿verdad? Que no sé. O tal vez sí sé en qué situación lo, me, me haría esa pregunta a mí mismo, pero no es un estado normal de, de, de andar así, ¿no? O sea, caminando, no lo sé. 
eh, no lo haríamos. Y, um, usualmente casi que no nos preguntamos cosas a nosotros mismos con el present continuous. So, hmm, no utilizaría esto, ¿verdad? pero esto sí. Is she walking or is it walking? Tal vez sí. Eh, are they walking, right? Or are they eh, driving a car? What are they doing? Right? How are they moving or transporting themselves? So there you go. También tengo WH questions con el present continuous. Como con el simple present, si es una WH question, le empiezo con la WH word. Con what, con when, con where, con who, eh, how, which, etcétera, etcétera. La pregunta más común con el present continuous, what are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Y besides that, podría también preguntar otras cosas como eh, where are you living? So where are you living now? Where are you living now? En el caso de que la persona tal vez yo sepa que viaja mucho, ¿no? Como de no sé ni idea en qué país estará esta persona ahorita. Me llamó por teléfono y le digo, hey, where are you living now? Oh, I'm living in, I don't know, Italy, right? Oh, I'm living in, in France now. So that can be a case, right? So we can use also these WH questions with uh, the present continuous. Y si es una WH question, empiezo con la WH word. Luego, verb to be, pronombre, verbo ING y el complemento de la pregunta. So there you go. And here we have some examples, like, what is she doing now? What is she doing? Uh -huh. She what is dancing. She's dancing. She's dancing. Excellent. She's dancing. Ballet. Uh -huh. She's dancing. Ballet. Ballet. Right. So, exactly. Ballet. Ballet. Very good. What about this person? What is he doing? He's eating breakfast. Uh -huh. He's eating. Exactly. Or he's eating breakfast. Good. A mancharse la corbata o el señor. So, yes. <laughs> What about these people? What are they doing? They are playing soccer. Playing soccer. They are playing, they are playing soccer, to be precise. Playing. Excellent. What about this one? What is it doing? It is sleeping. It is sleeping. Yeah, dichos. <laughs> it's sleeping. Nice. Very good. What about this one? What are they doing? They are singing. They are singing. They are playing music. Uh -huh. They are practicing. Exactly. What about these people? They are watching, watching, watching TV. Watching, watching TV. Uh -huh. Very watching. good. They are watching TV. No washing. No, no, no washing porque se arruinan. No watching TV. Watching TV. Watching. What about this one? What are they doing? They're cooking. Cooking. They're cooking. Very good. They're okay. cooking. What about this one? What is he doing? He's calling on the phone. He's calling on the phone. Uh huh. Where he is? Until he's driving. driving. He's driving too. So, le van a caer como tres multas. Bueno. No sé, ¿verdad? Ir hablando por teléfono, no lleva cinturón. Anyway. <laughs> What is she doing? She is washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Very good. She's washing the dishes. What are they doing? They are modeling. Nice. They are modeling. Very good. They are modeling. Excellent. 
Uh, what are they doing? Mm. They are feeding a dress. Yeah, I guess so. Probably. Maybe she's trying a dress. Maybe. Maybe. Quiero pensar que yes, que eso es. Se ve rara la situación. So forget about that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. All righty then. So that's pretty much about the differences between present continuous, simple present. Veamos si se entendió la idea y de las diferencias entre los tiempos. So let me see. I have here actually a Kahoot so that we can check if we can tell the difference between simple present and present continuous. So this is the pin number that we are going to use. Let's see. Okay, so we have Yuli, Natalie, Meli, Carlita Lanza, Carla Maria, Obed. Nice. Let's wait for the rest. Evelyn, good. Brenda. Emilio. Okay, okay. One more minute. Okay. So if you haven't been able to connect, you still can connect during the game. So don't worry. So let's see, let's get started with this. So here we go with the first one. So you're going to choose the corresponding situation here. What we need is simple present or present continuous. Here we go. What about this one? What would you say? That usually dinner. What do you think? Be careful, be careful. So we have Ay, 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 cooks, nice. So, that usually, ¿qué es, lo que me, ¿qué es lo que me da la pauta aquí para saber que es simple present? Usually. Usually, exactly. Usually is a frequency adverb. So, si estoy ocupando un adverbio de frecuencia, como usually, entonces, y es una rutina, o es un hábito que esta persona tiene. Por lo tanto, utilizo simple present. ¿Por qué lleva la S, teacher? Ah, esa era la, la, la segunda cascarita de banana. Y aparte de que es simple present, tengo dad y es un he, ¿verdad? Entonces, como es he, 
Tengo que ponerle la S al verbo. So, he usually cooks dinner. So, there you go. Nice. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Melly, very good. Natalie, Evelyn, y Carlita Lanza, and Julie. All right. Let's see the next one. My parents to Italy every year. Every year. You're breaking my heart tonight. <laughs> my parents. Let's see. Why simple present? ¿Por qué presente simple acá? ¿Qué me da la pauta? Every year. Every year. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Every year is what is telling me. This is also a routine. Que, se, que algo sea una rutina o un hábito no quiere decir que pase todo el tiempo, todos los días. Y, pero si yo digo que esto es como una costumbre de que mis padres eh, viajen a Italia cada año, ya eso cada año lo vuelve una costumbre. So that is every year. And if it's a habit, simple present. Now, here we have... My parents, mis papás. No puede ser goes, right? So aquí sería go. There you go. Let's see. Positions changing. Millie still in the first place. Carla Maria, Natalie, Evelyn, and Emilio. Good. Next one. We lunch now. We lunch now. And we having. <laughs> no, we're missing something there. We are having lunch now. So here it was the opposite situation we don't have a routine in this case but an action that is happening now in this moment so we need present continuous the structure for the present continuous <clears throat> acuérdense que no solo es el ing también tengo que incluir verb to be más verbo en ing así es la, la estructura completa de El presente continuo. So don't forget it. So we have Milly still in the first place. Obed going up. Carla Maria, Natalie, and Evelyn. Maria for a TV station. Hmm. Maria. Let's see. Ay, ay, ay. Eso estaba tricky. Eso estaba como... Mmm, no tenía nada. ¿verdad? No habían palabras claves. So... Huh. ¿Por qué simple present acá? Si yo digo, María works for a TV station, me estoy haciendo como énfasis en, de, en que ese es su trabajo, ¿no? O sea, a eso se dedica ella. Como si yo dijera, well, eh, Rolando teaches at inglés corporativo. 
right. Yo doy clases, o Rolando da clases en inglés corporativo. Ajá. Quiero dar a entender entonces de que a eso se dedica, es eso lo que él hace, ¿no? Es algo que hace eh, on a regular basis. Lo mismo pasa acá con María. Mm, pero sí, es que yo quería decir que ella está trabajando para una, una televisora. Nosotros en español sí decimos, ah, que fíjate que mi hermana ahora está trabajando en una clínica. Está trabajando, ¿verdad? Y eso nosotros lo hacemos ver como de que, y no sé, a eso se dedica también. En inglés, si yo ocupo el present continuous acá, tendría que a ley quizás agregar la palabra now o at the moment para hacer énfasis de que tal vez ella cambió de empleo, que pasó de una cosa a otra, y que ahora está trabajando ahí, y, o que es algo temporal, no lo sé. Y, pero sí tendría que agregar alguna palabrita ahí clave como now or at the moment para que me funcione con el present continuous. So there you go. So let's see. So Meli, still in the first place. Y Carla María, Emilio, Obed, and Natalie. Next one. Let's go out. It not rain now. Negative. So, very good, nice, better, better. So, let's go out, it's It, well, in this case, it isn't raining now. So we have, again, the uh, keyword here, now. So we know that we are talking about the present continuous. Excellent. Let's see. Very good. So Meli, Carla Maria, Natalie going up, Emilio, and Ove. Next. Peter, not like rap music. Negative. Excellent, there you go. Peter doesn't like rap music. Don't like, mm -mm, because I'm talking about a he. So I need doesn't, no don't. Doesn't like rap music. Teacher, y acá porque es simple present. Estamos hablando de los gustos de alguien. Y cuando hablamos de los gustos de una persona, y son cosas que mantenemos, ¿no? O sea, no, no es algo que esté cambiando, al menos no a cada rato. Y entonces utilizamos por lo general el simple present para hablar de nuestro gusto, lo que nos gusta, lo que no nos gusta. Como en este caso, Peter doesn't like rap music. Let's see. Carla María on fire going to the first place. Next, at the moment, she in the Sahara Desert. At the moment. All right, so, aha, uh -huh. at the moment, at the moment, right now, she's traveling in the Sahara Desert. Present continuous. 
Obed and Evelyn going up. Question. You asleep now? Hmm. Let's see. Nice, very good, excellent. So here we have now. So we know that we're talking about the present continuous. So I cannot use is with you. I use are. Are you sleeping now? That would be the question. Excellent. Same positions, Carla Maria on fire. What about this one? I usually go to work my car. Again, here I have the word usually. So this is a frequency adverb. I'm talking about how often I do something. Then I have to use simple press. Let's see. Evelyn and Emilio going up. The last one. She speak English. She speak English. <clears throat> Question. Ay, ay, ay. So auxiliaries, auxiliaries. In this case, we have, does she speak English? Uh, I cannot say is speak. Uh, is she speak? Never, ever. No puedo tener el verb to be y un verbo de acción sin conjugar. Acuérdense que si no ahí tengo eh, conflicto de interés entre los dos verbos peleando por ser el principal. So, uh -uh. En todo caso... Necesitaría el ING. Is she speaking in English right now? Podría ser. Pero como acá lo que quiero preguntar es si ella tiene esa habilidad. So digo, does she speak English? Does, porque estoy hablando de una she. So let's see. Final scores. Third place. Natalie. Second, Mindy, and the first place goes to Carla Maria. Very good. So excellent. Special mentions to Evelyn and Emilio. Good. All right. So there you go. So I guess now it's getting clearer. This is about the simple present and the present continuous. I guess that maybe you're getting the idea a little bit more. It's getting a little bit clearer. So let's see. Antes de pasar a la siguiente práctica, tomamos asistencia por segunda vez. So let me see. Here we go. So I start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Anita, not here tonight. So I continue then with Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Creo que por ahí nos escribió que estaba mal de salud. So I continue with Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Raquel, next, 
Glenda Marisela Cuella. Glenda, por ahí la veo conectada. Ok, so maybe she's still going home. Then I have, a, let's see, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you, nice, nice. Thank you very much. So I continue with Jose Vladimir Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Josué. Next, I have Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. And next person, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thanks a lot, Natalie. And next, Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Marilyn. And next person, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Uh, present teacher. Thanks, Emilio. And next, we have Uber Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. All right, thank you very much, uh, Uber. So then I have Orfa Lisset Barrera. Mm, not here. Okay. So next person, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present. Thank you very much, Vilma. And next person, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot, Evelyn. Y next, Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla. Creo que no está acá. So we continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. I me pone presente. Glenda. Ah, no. oh, nice. Sí, por ahí la vi que estaba conectada, Glenda. Present teacher. Okay. All right. Thank you, Meli. Nice. And let me see, last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay then, so let's see. I have a little practice for you about this uh, present continuous and simple present. So let me share my screen and also here we go. Okay, so we're going to work on this practice that I have here. I'm going to share a link so that you can start working on this uh, in groups. And in these sentences, you're just going to decide if what you need is simple present or present continuous. Very similar to what we did on the Kahoot, you're just going to select the verb that is in parentheses and you're gonna use it in the space here. For example, in number one, what would you use, simple present or present continuous? Simple present. Simple present. How would it be then? He usually? Go. Goes. Go. Goes. Uh -huh. Goes to work by bus. Goes because I'm talking about a he. So you are going to do the same with the rest of the sentences. Just be careful because some of them are negative. Uh, I don't think you're good. Well, I guess you're good. you might find some questions too. So you be careful with the type of sentence that you need. And let me see. I'm going to create the groups so that we can start working on this. So we have here, group number one. I have, uh, let me see, wait. Let me change here. Okay, so I have group number one, Josue, Marilyn, and Ovel. So you are group number one. Group number two, Brenda, Raquel, Emilio, and Iris. You are group number two. Group number three, Glenda, 
Eh, Carlita Lanza and Julie, you're working together. Group number four, eh, Natalie, Evelyn, and Vilma, you're working together. And let me see. Uy, permítanme, permítanme. Creo que tengo a Carlita Lanza repetida. Ahí está, ahí sí. So, voy a mover. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Wait. Carla Maria, I'm going to move you to room number one. All right. So you're going to be in group number one, too, Carla Maria. So it's Josue, Carla Maria, Marilyn, and Ovid. And Meli, you're going to be in group number. Let's see, number two. So that's going to be then Raquel, Emilio, Iris, and Meli. So you are working together. All right. So I'm going to share the link in the chat so that you can start working on it. And there you go. Ya se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp también. So the rooms, the breakout rooms are open now. So you can start joining the breakout rooms. If you need some help, just let me know. Recuerden, eh, me lo envíen con los nombres de eh, los participantes del grupo. Okay. So let's see. You can start working now and I'll see you here in more or less 10 minutes.
Hello, hello. We wait. Marilyn, are you there? My team. <laughs> oh. My teacher, bien mente ignorada. No, <laughs> levantó la mano. Bien visto. No, se la ¿Qué pasó? De me sacaron. No, no, teacher. No, es falso. Sí, la Tenía ya como, como 20 minutos de haber levantado la manita. ¿Qué? Es que no sé si es mi conexión, Marilyn, porque me volví a pasar al Wi-Fi. Ya he estado con datos toda la clase. Me volví a pasar al Wi-Fi. Y vi que Igual yo lo llamé y no, no me hizo ver. Y mire, no hizo... solo ¿Serio? porque no me... No What? me atendió mi auxilio. No. Nos sacamos nueve de diez. Híjole, no. Lo siento, no, no sé qué onda. Creo que es la conexión, porque ahorita me pareció levantado y me metí. Y solo me encontré a, como no, estaba Josué, pero Josué, pues, Josué está trabajando. ¿ah? Entonces yo... Y se me hace, ¿Aló? teacher, que usted se me duerme ahí. Ay, qué ganado. Y de repente... Yo estoy en otra cosa. No, Todavía no es viernes, teacher. No, ay, qué chido, ni los viernes, ni el sábado, ni el domingo. Ay, no. Yo doy clases de lunes a domingo. Sí. No, teacher. No es de Dios, pero ya casi, ya no. casi. No, no, teacher, no es de Dios. No. Ay, no. no, pero se lo juro en serio. Y... Tiene que poner 10, teacher, porque le estuvimos preguntando y no nos hizo ver. ¿Verdad que sí? Lo voy a pensar, lo voy a pensar. Nice, nice. Yeah. Ay, teacher. Yeah. Me voy a poner insatisfecho solo por eso, no pues. Ah, nos vamos a sacar los errores. <risa> La falta, ah, bueno. Ay, si contamos de falta, Ajá. usted me gana, yo le gano a usted. Yo creo. Qué malo. No, yo no, no sé. de sacar los trapitos al sol, tiche. No, pero te lo juro que yo cuando a lo más vi que se levantó la mano me metí y de repente. Ya no estábamos. Ya no estábamos. Cuando regreso lo veo todo aquí, como de qué pasó. No sé, quizá me quedé un ratito sin conexión y en lo que hice el cambio de Wi-Fi a datos. Yo ya... pensé que me iba a decir, yo, quizá me quedé un ratito dormido. No, ay Dios, mire, sin mentirle, mi café. Ay, no. Para terrible. revivir, tiche. Sí, y de hecho ahorita, bueno, cuando yo termino las clases, Híjole, me voy a dormir a las 11 porque tengo que subir la clase, se tiene que eh, convertir el video, lo tengo que subir, tengo que dejar la asistencia. Ay, Dios, para mí empieza la noche. <ríe> so, no, not, a, not at all that I'm sleeping. Ay, so, let's see. <ríe> all right. Qué triste. Sí, es triste, pero ni modo. <ríe> no hay <idiota. ríe> So let's see. So let's wait for the rest. If they have less than one minute to come back, and then we check it together. Y, um, por ahí revisamos la práctica cuando ya regresen los demás. Ya ahorita regresan y vemos por ahí por qué se nueve. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. So let me share my screen just to get it ready. Aquí está. Uh, wait. Ahí está. Okay. So let's see. So I guess most of the people are going to come back now. So, 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 so. Mm. Oh, I see. Ahí está. Okay, then. So let's see, let's check, well, let's see how this practice went. Here we had a couple of statements, right? So let's check the correct answers for this practice. So let me see, ahí está. So 
In this one we have, so we have in number two, Tess, in this case, is talking on the phone now. So I have the expression now, so I know that this is present continuous. Then we have Mr. Andrews. Um, how do you think this would be? Let's see. Uh, let me see, let me see. Um, Natalie, number three, Mr. Andrews. Está en mute, Natalie. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, number three, Mr. Andrews doesn't like fast food. Doesn't like. There you go. Very good. So simple present. Exactly. We're talking about likes or dislikes. So we use simple present. Then we have number four, be quiet. The baby. What do you think? Let's see. Um, Marilyn. <laughs> um, Let's see. Be quiet. The baby uh -huh. is sleeping in his bedroom. Ah, very good. There you go. Be quiet. The baby is sleeping in his bedroom. How do we know that this is present continuous? ¿Cómo sabemos que este es presente continuo? Si no tenemos words like now, eh, at the moment. ¿Por qué será? Porque, bueno, yo lo traje. <laughs> el español, el bebé está durmiendo en su cama, en su cuarto. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Y por qué no el bebé duerme en su cuarto? ¿Cómo sé que esto es ahorita? For the expression, be quiet right now. Exactly. Uh -huh. Ay, gracias. Be quiet. <laughs> be quiet is still. Si yo le digo a alguien, shh, callate, el bebé está durmiendo. O sea, si yo lo callo a esta persona, En este momento es porque el bebé igual en este momento está durmiendo en su cuarto. So very good. What about, well, here we have number five, easy. Mary's daughter is studying in Boston at the moment. Um, here, something uh, happens here with study. Uh, con studying, podríamos decir que Y, bueno, aquí vemos que mmm, siempre el verbo mantiene la Y. Si nos vamos así, a, tal vez a ciegas, o nos vamos ahí como de, por la lógica, decimos, bueno, le agrego el ING a este verbo, entonces le voy a quitar la Y. <ríe> ah, ¿verdad? So, in this case, y no, la mantenemos, mantenemos acá esta Y. Y tenemos otros verbos, como en este caso, que va a pasar lo mismo. Por ejemplo, tenemos cry. Entonces, no vamos a sustituir la Y por I latina, sino vamos a mantener la misma Y y seguimos con el ING, crying. También tenemos dry, secar, drying, secando. ¿Y qué pasa entonces con, en este caso, play, verdad? Play. So, la Y siempre la vamos a dejar ahí. No la vamos a cambiar y cuando tengamos el ING. Okay, so there you go. Then we have, y, uy, number six. Um, my father. What do you think it should be here? Let's see, let's see. Um, Evelyn. Okay, my father is watching a documentary on TV. A documentary on TV, exactly. My father is watching a documentary on TV. Um, here, I would say yes, present continuous. Si solo en el caso... O sea, podría ser los dos, ¿no? Aquí podríamos tener los dos contextos. Y si ocupo el ING, indico que eso está pasando en el momento, que es lo más probable. 
si yo dijera, my father watches a documentary on TV, es porque lo ve, o sea, como constantemente, sin embargo, mmm, tal vez hacer, en cierto momento, y bueno, lo tendría que terminar, ¿no? A menos que fuera en varias partes, entonces tal vez no pegaría mucho. Lo más seguro es el present continuous en este caso. Then we have, eh, easy, they never pay attention to my words. I have never, so if I have uh, an adverb frequency, then I don't change anything and I know that I have to use simple present. What about this one, number eight? Eh, let's see, Obed. I wonder if freeze. Freezes. Ah, con very good. Okay. Excellent. Good. Water freezes at zero Celsius degrees. Esto lo leemos. Zero Celsius degrees. Zero Celsius degrees. Very good. So we have okay. los centígrados, right? Celsius. Okay. Y también nosotros ocupamos lo de grados Celsius, sin embargo es más común lo de los grados centígrados. En inglés se ocupa, o sea, siempre que vean esa C, son Celsius, no centígrados, que es lo mismo. En, y ese simbolito del grado es degrees. Y en el caso de la, bueno, las temperaturas, no, degrees. En that is written like this degree there you go so perfect so then we have a uh, easy tenemos otra ahí regalada a uh, harry sometimes I, harry sometimes plays tennis at the club simple present because i have some times betty regalada también porque aquí está la palabra now So, Betty is playing the flute now. Flute, flauta. She's rehearsing. Rehearsing es practicar o ensayar. Cuando yo hablo de rehearse, algo, es más que todo eh, enfocado a una presentación, puede ser un, un bueno, un, un, se llama un toque de una banda, puede ser una obra de teatro, algo que requiera, como nosotros lo diríamos, ensayo. So there you go. Then we have, regalada también, aquí está, adverb of frequency, rarely. So my students rarely say a word in English. Not my students, right? <laughs> nice, very good. Then we have, Regalada también. It rarely rains in summer. Rara vez llueve en verano. Bueno, ahora, ¿verdad? Aquí estaba lloviendo. So there you go. Then we have 13. I never regalado. Tengo never. Sé que simple present. I never wake up before 7.30. Regalada la siguiente. Usually. Susan usually does her homework in her bedroom. Solo tengo que cambiar el verbo porque es Susan. Then we have the earth. What about this one? What do you think this could be? Let's see. Carlita Lanza. The earth. The earth uh, go around the sun. Go, así. Sí. Seguro. Ay, lo que pasa es que pues, no sé rara la. Uh -huh. Go, sí. por, ahí, por ahí alguien dijo go. Go es. Yes, uh -huh. go, sí, pues. exactly. So, acá tenemos the earth. The earth, 
no es ni una, pers no una persona, no un él o ella, pero es un it, porque es el planeta, ¿no? So the earth goes around the sun. So es, so don't forget it. Then we have eh, easy. I have here at the moment. So I know this is present continuous. They are having difficulties at the moment. So let me see. 17, easy, rarely. So adverb of frequency. We rarely see garbage on the ground in Medellin. 18, easy, always, right? The phone always. Y aquí qué sería? ¿Cómo quedaría? Let's see, Julie. Que es en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Porque es siempre. Ajá, vamos bien. Ring. Ring, así. Pero está hablando de el teléfono, ¿verdad? Ajá. It. Ajá. La S. Excelente. Ajá. The phone always rings. Y acá. También en el presente simple, ¿verdad? Mm. Mm. Yo tomo mm. baño, dice. Así es. Yo tomo. Ajá. Dice. El teléfono siempre suena cuando yo. Me estoy bañando. Ah, entonces. Es taking. When I am taking a shower. So, no sé si por aquí andará ese nueve que me mencionaban por ahí. Si por aquí va la pregunta. Ah. Correcto. <laughs> okay. You see, leo la mente. There you go. So, I am taking a shower. Acá puede pasar esto eh, de que, eh, que es, puedo mezclar, ¿no? Puedo mezclar estos tiempos, el presente simple y el presente continuo, para expresar que siempre que yo hago algo o que yo estoy en algo, pasa esto, ¿no? Eh, como es el caso de es que siempre que suena el teléfono, me estoy bañando. So... Podría ser que mezclemos en algún momento, en algún contexto, los dos tiempos como estoy haciendo acá. Pero no es así nomás. ¿Qué es lo que me, me permite hacerlo? En este caso es la palabra when. When, cuando. Cuando me estoy bañando. Entonces ese when me da el pase ahí para que yo pueda utilizar eh, el presente continuo indicando de que un evento pasa mientras yo estoy haciendo otro. So, there you go. Nice. All right. Then we have easy. The 19, it says at the moment. So, present continuous. John is writing an email at the moment. No problem. And the last one. What do you think? Let me see. Um... Who's there? Who's there? Let me see. Meli, what do you think? The last one, David. Sorry. David cuts his hair every month. Very good. So David cuts, 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 uh -huh, cuts. his hair every yes. month. There you go. Very good. Simple present, right? Because we have the expression every month. Good. So, cuando tenemos oraciones así o ejercicios así, y probablemente en la tarea y que corresponde el día de ahora, seguro van a encontrar por ahí algunas oraciones en las que tienen que hacer lo mismo que acabamos de hacer acá. Decidir si lo que necesitan es eh, presente simple o presente continuo. Acuérdense de un par de cosas. 
primero que nada, las palabras clave. Y las palabras clave de cada tiempo. Si es el presente simple, van a ver adverbios de frecuencia. Usually, never, always, sometimes, rarely, seldom, every now and then. Algunas expresiones como every month, every day, every weekend, on Saturdays, on Sundays, etcétera, etcétera. Todas esas palabras, todas esas expresiones pertenecen al simple present. Palabras como at the moment, right now, now. We know that those belong to the present continuous, right? ¿Por qué? Porque me están diciendo que la acción está tomando, bueno, está siendo realizada en el momento. Ajá. Ese es uno, ¿no? Las palabras claves. Segundo, cuando yo ya sé cuál es el tiempo, porque la palabra clave me ha ayudado, o eh, yo sé que es presente simple o presente continuo, ¿y qué más me queda por hacer? Recordar las reglas. Si es el presente simple, cuidado, ¿verdad? Puede que esté, puede que necesite eh, he, she, it, la conjugación para he, she, it, la tercera regla del singular. Entonces, ¿qué voy a hacer? Si es afirmativo, sé que le voy a agregar S o ES. Si es una oración negativa, ah, me acuerdo que tengo que agregar, tengo que cambiar doesn't, ¿verdad? En vez de don't, doesn't, eh, etcétera, etcétera. Si estoy, bueno, si ya, ya sé que lo que necesito es el presente continuo, también tengo que tener cuidado. ¿Con qué? Con seleccionar el, la forma correcta del verb to be. Sea is, sea are o sea am. Y pues antes que nada, acordarme de que tengo que poner el verb to be. No puedo solo poner el ing. En ningún momento puedo utilizar el presente continuo sin el verb to be. No se puede. No puedo decir they having difficulties at the moment. Mm -mm. El presente continuo no es solo el ing. Es también el uso de el verb to be acompañado de, <coughs> perdón, el verbo en ing. Right? So that's the thing. That's how it is actually done. So there you go. Now, Any questions so far? We clear about the topic. Todo bien, todo correcto entonces con respecto a este tema. Yes. Okay. Very good then. So... Let's see. Before we finish, let me show you something here. Something about pronunciation. I had this video that I wanted to show you some days ago about pronunciation, but let me see if we are going to have enough time. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I guess that I can show it to you. So, okay. In terms of pronunciation, I have this, uh, let's say, video slash example or challenge in which we're going to see some people pronouncing things differently. So let me show you. Here. Uy, wait. So, en términos de acento, creo que ya hemos hablado de los diferentes tipos de acentos que hay en Estados Unidos, solo en Estados Unidos. Y ya hemos hablado también del acento británico, pero creo que a veces dejamos de lado el tercer acento más importante que es el, eh, el de Australia, o lo que llaman Aussie English. 
So in this very short video, we're going to hear the differences between the pronunciation of some words in the three accents. So listen, and then we say something about it. Eh, no escucho, teacher. teacher. I don't ah, listen. Recién. Recién, recién. Yo tampoco. No se escucha. Wait, wait, wait. No. Let me share. Let me check one more time. Lo voy a compartir de nuevo. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Listen. Banana. 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 Tomato. 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 Water. 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 Coffee. 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 Dog. 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 Shark. 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 Zebra. 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 Vase. 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 Castle. 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 Missile. 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 Cookie. Biscuit. Biscuit. Candy. Sweets. Lollies. Sneakers, trainers, runners, bell pepper, pepper, capsicum, french fries, chips, hot chips, pants, trousers, pants, underwear, underpants, undies, sweater, jumper, jumper. Flashlight. Torch. Torch. Check. 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 Gray. 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 Tire. 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 Jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry, aluminum, aluminium, aluminium, mustache, 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 airplane, aeroplane, aeroplane, pajamas, 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 color, color, color. There you go. So, y a veces re disparada ¿no? la, la pronunciación, más que todo, bueno, los tres tienen sus cosas, ¿no? La pronunciación, palabras que son diferentes y, o palabras que se escriben diferente y variaciones del inglés, ¿no? So, y we're going to keep reviewing this maybe some other time talking about the pronunciation so we'll see right so today this was just a little example on how different the pronunciation and variations of english can be so tomamos asistencia por última vez eh, hoy le toca quedarse let me see mm -hmm. Uh, Julie, Julie, ¿se puede quedar un ratito ahora? Julie, Julie. No, teacher, no puedo. No, hoy, hoy no puede. Va. 
Chivo, chivo. No hay problema entonces, lo dejamos ahí pendiente. So, anyway, paso lista entonces, let me see. So I have, here we go, Ana Beatriz Pineda. Ana Beatriz, not here. So then I continue with Ángel Balmore Aguilar. Tampoco se pudo conectar hoy. Sigo con Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. All right, very good. Next, Glenda Maricela Cuella. Glenda, Glenda. Bueno, por ahí la vi conectada. Ahí está. Present. Thank you very much. Next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Iris. Y next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Josué. Next, Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Y next, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Next, y Marilyn del Carmen Solís. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Next, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Uh, present, teacher. Thank you, Emilio. Nice. Y next person, Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Obed. Y next, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Creo que no está acá. So I'll continue with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Y next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Next, Sonia Evelyn. Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Sorry. Ya ahorita ya se me cruzaron los cables. So, Evelyn, thank you very much. So, I continue. Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla, not here. So, next person, is Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Meli. And last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay, then. Well, I'll let you go, guys. Thank you very much for being part of today's lesson. As always, a pleasure to be here with you. Have a nice rest of your night, and I'll see you in the show. Bye. Have a bye good night. Bye-bye. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow.